Today, just after Christmas, and everybody is working, especially with the heavy flood in the East Coast and even in Kuantan, and hopefully uh, the rain, raining season will stop. So one of the issues that attracted my attention is the massive logging activities that has been carried out in Kedah. I'm sure when the Kedah riot voted for the opposition, they were hoping that the state government will be a responsible government, a government that will take care of the riot in all aspects of development, including protecting the environment. And one of the major issues today in Kedah is uncontrolled logging, according to the report, I understand. And this includes sensitive areas, which are what we call forest reserve and water catchment area. The forest is a big reservoir for containing water. Because without the tree, the rainfall, the water will just go down to the hill, go down the ground, and then flow, flow, uh, flow off. And this is the problem, where we have uncontrolled logging, it will give rise to erosion, it will give rise to what we call landslide, it will give rise to pollution, and finally it will give rise to what we call flood. And today, Kedah will soon face this problem. At the initial stage, everything will look okay. Under the forestry and the Department of Environment, if you develop any area of more than 50 hectares, then you need an EIA. In this case, they probably cut it up in so many compartments so that they are not subjected to EIA. And that is tantamount to cheating if they have done that. And that is wrong. It's shortchanging the riot, and which is unfair because 50 hectares is actually a small area with about 115 acres. But this is important to prevent what we call erosion, uh, landslide, flooding. That's why the EIA is important so that then we know what are the mitigating measures they take to prevent what I've said, the above site effect of uncontrolled logging. The other thing which is interesting is that quite some time back in the budget presented by the Kedah state government in the day one, if I'm not mistaken, there was an item under the in revenue of the state that they will get 20 million extra from the sale of water to Penang. In Penang, unfortunately, says that they are not paying any because to them, water is God sent. There is no reason why they should pay for it. Now, the question is interesting. They are all from the same party, but each one saying different things. Who are we to trust? Even on a simple item until today, nobody has clarified that whether it is true that Qadar is selling 20 million of water or whatever amount they are selling, and whether what Penang is saying is true, that they are brother states, they don't have to pay. After all, water is God sent. So who is telling the truth? There is no political honesty in this case. Somebody needs to verify and clarify it. But like all things else, after the 308 election, everything is politicized beyond some time recognition. It is all about politics, unfortunately. And it is not about the real issue. The real issue is whether they have really selling water to Kedah, eh, from Kedah to Penang, or Penang is not accepting the fact when they buy water and quietly ignore the fact that they are actually buying water from Kedah. I, I really don't know, because both states are controlled by them. And, and they have the, the duty, the responsibility to share the riot, the truth. After all, their slogan is competency, accountability, and transparency. In this simple transaction, there is obviously no accountability, there is no transparency, and if whatever they say, it shows incompetence. So friend, let's open our, white, our eyes wide and see who performs better before you decide to vote. Thank you.